Yo YouTube, what's going down? It's your boy Potsy, and today I'm bringing you some WWE 2K15 My Career, and um, I just wanted to pretty much not talk about the gameplay, I want to talk about Royal Rumble, but we'll get into that, I just want to talk about what the previous thing is about now, in my last episode, I beat our truth in my Superstars debut, so now with that being said, Vicky Guerrero is talking all that is, saying that I defend my title, which I'll put on the screen right now, and... But the, the fact that Vicky Guerrero is saying this, I gotta step up my game then because I am the NXT champion. Now, as Ruckus, he's the cocky guy, doesn't you know. It's just, he needs the balls out to the wall. And, and But now, since we've seen this time and time again, it's Ruckus versus Adrian Neville. So you're thinking in the back of your head, well, I mean, these guys have a battle. You know, so hopefully Ruckus can, can be on top and become the, um, you know, the top, top NXT, NXT superstar. Because right now, uh, Adrian Neville is pretty good. You get that vicious, you know. It's just shot to the jaw. But um with Royal Rumble, you know, being on Sunday, you know, this this Sunday, I kinda wanna give you my predictions, you know, about Royal Rumble. And is in Philly, which I won't be able to go, which I am super mad. Not really mad is that we we really didn't really look into the tickets and stuff like that. Because when we taught you when they were saying they were on sale, it was like sold out. And the tickets were getting, like, overpriced and all that stuff. And we're just like, damn, you know. We, we were just, you know, me and my, you know, pretty much my brothers were just like, I don't think we can do this. So, and then, like, the following week, we got a call from, you know, my, bu my bro uh, buddy, my brother got a call say we can get sweets. And it was, like, 80 bucks a piece. And I was like, that's a lot of loot right there. But I was like, I don't care. It's the Royal Rumble. It's in Philly. I want to go. With that being said, we get the call back saying we're in a line. You know, we're in a, on a list. Say, you know, there's pretty much, if we can get the money in time, we can get it. Well, we that didn't happen. So, with that being said, I'm not going, you know, to the Royal Rumble, Royal Rumble in Philly. Which I'm I'm alright, but it's like, ugh, it's the Royal Rumble. And they they barely come to Philly when pay-per-views. So, I was like, because I'm, I'm I live in South Jersey, so, I mean, it's right there. I can just, you know, drive right up there. We're good. So, with that... It was just like, ugh, I'm, I'm heated. But, you know, it's cool. It is what it is. I get to watch, you know, the Rumble at home for only nine ninety nine, which I pay for. So, I'm, I'm, I'm alright with that. Alright, so, let's go straight into the match card. So, we'll go from pre-show to up. So, pretty much pre-show to the main event. Um, match one is the pre-show of the New Age Outlaws versus the Ascension. Now, Monday, the Ascension came out during the NWO's reunion, which was really cool. I liked it a lot. Didn't really get a pop from the fans, which I was really disappointed because, I mean, it's the NWO, but, it, I mean, this, these crowds in WWE right now are so dead. Especially, like, it's only the well-known towns that get a pop. Um, get a good, you know, crowd you know, reaction. So, like, Philly's going to be probably really good. You go to New York, it's good. Um, I can't think of the other one. But uh, Los Angeles, you know, those ones are pretty much wrestling... I guess, crowds get a lot of pop and makes the, the show pretty much better. Because nine times out of ten, most of the sh Raw and SmackDown crowds are just horrendous. They sit on their hands. They don't really cheer. They only cheer for Cena because I feel like half these kids don't even know these people. and It, it, it sucks. But let's just get to the match. Um, and with that being said, the Ascensions came out. And they pretty much got their ass kicked by, you know, when a APA came out, New Age Outlaws came out. So with that in my mindset... I feel like, I think, you know, it's just they don't look like they fit in, which I, completely sucks because they need to beef up the tag division. They just can't throw in wrestlers and try to make gold. It's, it's kind of hard. So with that, with the Ascension, it's, it's a different, you know, tag team. We finally got these guys who just want to be a tag team and just raise hell. So with that being said, on Sunday, if the Ascension don't beat the Wage Outlaws, we probably won't be seeing the Ascension. Or there'll be a laughing stock in the, in the WWE. There'll be a humor tag team, which would be horrendous. You got to make these guys, you know, larger than life. So these guys got to be powerful, and, and, and they're good. They got a lot of, you know, double moves, you know, double tag team moves, which is really good because sometimes you really don't see that, you know, in in, in special WWE television. So I'm picking the Ascension because they need to win this, you know, badly. So. 
we'll go into match two. I don't know the, the, the order. I'm just pretty much just winging it. So we have a six-man tag team elimination. The New Day, Tyson Kidd, Cesaro, and Adam Rose. Now, this... <laughs> I don't care about this <laughs> this match at all. It's This whole match card is just ridiculous. It, the only You're only seeing two matches. Plain and simple. Um, but uh, I guess... I'm pretty sure it's going to be... I would like to see Tyson Kidd and Cesaro. I, I guess Adam Rose. But... It's an elimination tag team match, so most likely, uh, it, I'm assuming it's going to be the New Day. Um, I just, ugh. I really, I really like Tyson Kidd and Cesaro as a tag team because I think they can. They guys are pretty much the workhorses, especially Cesaro. You know, he's not getting anything at all. But I think it'd be a good idea to have Cesaro and Tyson Kidd win, and I guess you know, Adam Rose. But most likely, it's probably going to be the New Day. If that change, if if that doesn't come out, I'm, I'm happy because I really don't like the New Day. I really thought they were going to have something. Their whole plan was going to have the New Day become, you know, a Nation of Domination type-esque tag team. You know, you got three three talented superstars. He, Biggie's okay, but like, t you know, Xavier Woods and, and Kofi, especially Kofi, two, you know, talented guys, and it's just like, oh, great. I mean, like, I get the whole thing, you know, the the new day, the church, and you know, you know, always be happy or whatever they do. But it's just like, ugh, you know, you can be a good guy and and still you just have that, you know, that I just I don't care. I really don't care about that match. Next match is the divas, which pff, I don't care either because another tag team match. It's ridiculous how many tag all the, this whole pay per view is tag team matches and then a triple threat match in the Royal Rumble. So they're pretty much telling you. We know you don't care about this crap. You know you want the main of you want the triple threat match in the Royal Rumble. Plain so that's pretty much a Royal Rumble. It is. It's always, you know, the the less viewing things happen, and then you look for, forward to the main event. So with that being said, we have Paige and Natalia versus the Bella Twins. Oh man, match of the night. Am I right, gang? <laughs> am I okay? Yeah. So most likely, I'm pretty sure it, I'm just gonna wing it. It's the Bellas. Maybe because most likely they'll probably cheat or something. They can't do a switcheroo because Nikki's got big ass titties. So that's not gonna work. But they're probably gonna have the heel go on top. The heels as the Breeze, Brie, uh, Brie Bella and Nikki Bella, the Bella Twins, are probably going to win. And once again, I do not care about these matches. But also, do, the only tag team match I, I do care right now is the tag team championship match against the Usos, defending champions against Miz and the Miz Dow. So. Um, I this it's just get this whole thing's boring. You've seen this time, and time, and time, and time. Did I mention in time? Like it's just on repeat. Every time I watch Raw, it's the same match. If not, they throw Naomi and uh, and Alicia Fox, and it's just like, oh, well, we get a little, little switcheroo here. I like that. I really, <laughs> I really don't care about this at all. But uh, let me just stop and go to the gameplay. Look at Adrian Neville here going for a superplex <laughs> onto the, the mat. And like, okay, you're just going to throw your body in my body? Okay, I, I, all right, whatever, what's best for business. <laughs> but um, Usos, and, you know, I mean, we see this time and time and again. So what I'm thinking is this whole match is going to be the final Miz and Miz Dow tag team. We're going to split up. Possibly, I would like to see Ms. Dallas, like be a man pretty much and just win it all or just be like, no, I'm tired of this, I'm sick of this because it's it's old and I, I'm pretty sure we're going to see Ms. and Ms. Dow fight. Hopefully, I'll, I'll, see, I'll, I'll pay to watch Ms. and Ms. Dow fight at WrestleMania, build this up to WrestleMania. I think it'll be funny. But um, I'm going to say the Usos are retain the titles because now, with that being said... With the win, with the association, uh, the ascension beat the way Jat Laws, that will possibly have a little beef between um, the Usos and the Ascensions. So that's going to be really good because now we finally got a true powerhouse team like the Ascensions to face the Usos. Because you know before it was the only powerhouse tag team besides the Ascension. Now were Luke Harper and Eric Roman, the big you know big guys can fly around the ring too. Which was awesome to see, so, like especially 
uh, Money in the Bank this year, this past year. If you have the network, you can go. I probably go on YouTube and search Eric Rome and Luke Carver versus the Usos at Money in the Bank. That match was awesome. That was phenomenal. Once again, that was in Philly too, I believe. So I mean, it's it. I don't care. <laughs> like, but but that. At the end of the day, I mean, it's that's what's gonna happen. But I would, once again, I would like seeing the you know, especially newcomers, new professional wrestlers, you know, be a part of this new thing. Because if you don't realize that the future is is coming, it's now. You know, it's awesome. So with that being said, I will bring the triple threat match for the WWE title. Seth Rollins, the Money in the Bank. You know, Mr. Money in the Bank taking on Cena, Mr. John Cena. And the champion, Brock Lesnar. Now, this match I'm really looking forward to because now, past Monday, Brock said to Seth, yeah, one job is to take out Cena, so it'll be you and him. Awesome. That didn't happen because Sting, Sting, Sting came out and pretty much Cena schoolboy pinned Seth Rollins and got uh, Dolph Ziggler right back in uh, Eric Rowan's job back. Which is cool, fantastic, fun, I'm happy. Anyway, with that being said, Lesnar was pissed. And he came to the ring and beat the shit out. Excuse my language. Beat the crap out of Seth Rollins and Big Show and who else? Kane. They got demolished. They got F5'd completely. Lesnar just picked up Big Show like nothing and hit with the F5. Which was awesome. So with that being said... Cena is not really a big part right now. If you really think about it, he did his job. He got the, the you know those three guys their jobs back, but now it's kind of pushing to Seth and Brock. These guys are, are not seeing eye to eye at all, and now it's like Seth can easily win it. If you really think about it, it's a triple threat match for the title. Brock Lesnar can win the title and retain. Cena can win, and possibly you know still be. In trouble because Seth Rollins can cash in his money in the bank that night. And if that's going to happen, that's going to be awesome. But, it, you know, with that being said, I mean, it's Royal Rumble. We have two more months to a month, right? Royal Rumble and then I think uh, Fastlane. That's a new paper besides the Mason Chamber. They renamed it. Then WrestleMania. So we got two pay-per-views. We have one more to go and then WrestleMania. So if you want to have Brock Lesnar win and carry the belt till WrestleMania, it's going to be, oh dear. But, and then hopefully, you know, Seth Rollins will keep his money in the bank briefcase. With that being said, though, if John Cena wins the title, most likely Brock Lesnar will get pissed and beat the crap out of him and walk away. But Seth Rollins is still there. So he can get the referee and tell him I'm cashing in now. And boom, there you have it. Seth Rollins can be the WWE Champion. Now, which is going to blow my mind if it does, because it's... The way that this guy wrestles is phenomenal, and he can have so many good matches with anybody if he's become WWE Champion. He gets that shine, he gets that quote-unquote brass ring and grabs it, and he's a champion, and a very young champion. So, like, a, a fast champion. This guy has been all not here been almost three years, and he's getting a title shot right now, and it's awesome. With that being said, I would like to see Seth Rollins wins. I'm going to pick Seth Rollins because I would like... Actually, you know, I will pick Cena because I would like to see the outcome as Lesnar gets pissed. He walks away. Seth Rollins catches it and becomes champion. You know what I mean? So, that's pretty much I got two, you know, two wins right there in that match. So, hopefully... Now, let's get on to the Royal Rumble. 30-man Royal Rumble. I think beginning of like the month, it was going to be a 40-man Royal Rumble, but they changed it to 30. Which, uh, I mean, it's cool. But, um, 30-man Royal Rumble, you know the drill in any Royal Rumble. You get over the top rope. Every 30 seconds or every minute, a new guy comes in. Now, the only part I always enjoy in Royal Rumbles are the uh, special wrestlers that come out. The ones that or not on the roster, you might get a legend to come out. I think last year, I forget who it was, I can't really remember. But, if you, I mean, you have like, it can be anybody. I mean, I'm hoping for like, the honky-tonk man. Maybe that's out of my league. 
Maybe that, I mean, maybe that's not, there's no way impossible. Why does the hell send that out of my league? <laughs> Bruh, that's a pause moment right there. But something that hasn't been there, like, you think about a legend like Hacksaw. I mean, he came out a bunch of times. Slaughter came out. If you think about, like, Slaughter versus, you know, Rusev, like, because that whole thing, prize like, a month ago that happened, you know, Rusev came out by, you know, Slaw Sergeant Slaughter, and he was making fun of all that stuff. I mean, like, stuff like that. But I, the one person I would love to see come back in that man's Kurt Angle. I, I've been dying enough to be just like, the man comes out and then just attacks Rusev. That's it. That would be the sickest thing ever, but that's not going to happen because he's staying with Impact TNA, blah, blah, blah. So, the, ma the main guy I want to win, I want Daniel Bryan to win because he needs to get back on top to main event level. He already is, but I feel like with the title, he'd be fine. But most likely, it's going to be pushing by uh, Roman Reigns. Now, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed because a lot of people are saying it might be Ro uh, Roman Reigns. But it's like, uh, I mean, last year he could have won it. But they were pushing Batista. And it was just like, ugh, anybody but Batista. <laughs> just anybody but Batista. So, I want Daniel Bryan to win, but... It's most likely going to be Roman Reigns. Now, that could change. You never know. Because the possibility that if Roman does win, it's going to be Brock versus Roman. Holy shnikes. That might be actually good. But it is what it is. I, I just... I like to watch pay-per-views and expect nothing. Just... Well, not really nothing. Just not knowing anything. Just be surprised. Enjoy wrestling as it is. Good. You know? And then just... If you put the realism in it, it's just like, it's not fun, you know, but it is what it is, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, I hope you guys enjoyed my predictions, leave a comment, who you want to win the, uh, the pay-per-view, who you want to win the Royal Rumble, who you want to win the championship match, the World Heavyweight title, tag team match, anybody, I really don't, that's up to you, you can understand what I'm coming from, but, I'm out guys, like, comment, subscribe, and, uh, oh, Adrian Neville, I'm coming for you, don't worry, don't think I just, I haven't seen you all video, don't worry, I'll be coming for you, bruh. Oh, did you? I'm an absolute waste. Wait till next week, bro. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Nathan, put a waste? I'm gonna punch this dude in the throat. A waste? Bruh.